Flame Catchers tells the stories of how hosting the Olympic Games sparked defining moments for a nation's sporting culture. The 08th Olympic Games has really been a big moment for our country, especially for our school. How the Olympic Flame lit up new beginnings for a sport, a country. Every time I hear the song of the song, I feel like I'm getting up and getting up. How the legacy of local sports heroes live on to inspire generation after generation. The Olympic Park in Beijing. The iconic venues amaze, and visitors still experience a frisson of excitement remembering what took place here one hot August. There are certain Olympic Games that chime well with the spirit of the age. Beijing's 2008 celebration was, for every Chinese person, recognition that their nation had joined the front rank. Their athletes won 51 gold medals, as for two breathless weeks, the world turned its gaze to the Chinese capital and liked what it saw. But when the flame had been extinguished, China's interest in sport didn't simply grind to a halt. The legacy of a wonderful games can still be seen all over the country. All those goals should perhaps not have been a surprise. They were an outcome of China's state sports system, beginning from a nationwide network of schools and training centers designed to ensure the finest talents are located and nurtured. Welcome to Shucha High Sports School in Beijing. It's been called China's Olympic cradle, and with good reason. Since opening its doors in 1958, it's produced a steady stream of world and Olympic champions. John Ying Chang is vice principal. Among the seven sports on offer at Shu Cha High are Olympic disciplines such as boxing and badminton. Zhong Yen Chang has seen an upsurge in interest since the 2008 Games. The 08th Olympic Games has really been a big moment for our country, especially for our school. And in the same time, when we were in the school, we were in the school for every year, the young people were in the school. There were a lot of people, but our school was limited to our school, so we were in the school for the first time. Some of China's great sports names came through this place. Names like Wang Tao and Zhang Yiming, Olympic table tennis champions. Film star Jet Li even honed his martial arts skills here. But perhaps most importantly, students learn the discipline required to reach the very top. Every day, we are facing the first day of the school, the first day of the school, one of the most popular sports of the school is boxing. There are elite squads for both sexes. There are classes for local children as well. This is a sport with ever-growing interest across China, especially capturing the imagination of those for whom Beijing 2008 was a central experience of their adolescence. Yet, up until 1986, it was illegal. Du Wenjie is the country's foremost boxing authority and remembers one catalyst in its rehabilitation was a meeting several years previously between Muhammad Ali and Deng Xiaoping. Ali Xiaoping说：“中国呢，应该开展拳击运动，应该取消对拳击运动呃这么多年的限制。但是当时中国拳击恢复确实与世隔绝了近三十年之后呢，我们对外面的世界呢一无所知。当时确实刚刚中国
中国拳手和这个和外国拳手比赛，那该被打得鼻青脸肿。And so it remained for many years. Chinese boxers were almost literally punching bags for the opposition. Gradually, Chinese boxing talent began to surface. The best was light flyweight Zhou Shiming. He won bronze in Athens in 2004, became world champion, and then, when the spotlight turned to Beijing, was ready to lead the revitalization of boxing in China. Zhou Shiming is that kind of defensive attack. I don't defend you. You hit me, after I hit you, I hit back with a punch. After that, it's like that. 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 各个国家对奥运会的重视程度超过了所所有的大赛。那当然了，邹市平的夺冠道路呢，也并非一帆风顺。It wasn't easy at all. Zhou overcame Uadin of France by the slimmest of margins in the second round, but after that, he didn't look back. Amateur boxing is about the accumulation of points, and Zhou was in his element. He defeated Paddy Barnes of Ireland in the semi by scoring 15 points over the four rounds without reply. The final was anticlimactic, with Zhou's Mongolian opponent unable to continue because of a shoulder injury. However, nothing could dampen the luster of a gold medal for China. The success of 2008 helped bring about an explosion of interest in boxing among spectators and also a major improvement in facilities. This is the Zhou Jian Sports Center in the city of Chen'an, about 200 kilometers east of Beijing. It was constructed in 2012 by the owner of a steel company. There's a stadium, a gymnasium which hosted the Asia Oceana boxing qualifiers for Rio 2016, and state-of-the-art facilities. It's intended that this facility will attract talent from around the world and become a cradle of boxing champions. Among those based here, Fired by Zhou Ximing's 2008 legacy is one of China's brightest young prospects. Her name is Chang Yuan. I still very much like Zhou Ximing. He not only fights very well, but he has worked very hard. Even though he is still fighting, and he is still fighting, he is still very good. 然后爸爸和爷爷他们那一辈都是，呃，练武术啊，武生什么的。然后受熏陶，我一开始练武术，零七年。然后那个时候他们这边，嗯，九江拳了拳击俱乐部刚建队，然后，嗯，他们去那边跟我们那边的拳击队打交流嘛。然后我看到这个项目的时候，就感觉非常喜欢，我就想练。然后所以跟教练说，以后他才把我送过来。So, at the age of 12, Chang Yuan found herself on the path to boxing success. Training in any form of combat sport is hard, but few sports people need to be as fit and as self-aware as boxers. Chang Yuan's trainer is something of a boxing legend herself. Zhang Xiyan won flyweight gold at the Women's World Championships in 2002. She turned professional and won a couple of world titles, making her arguably China's most successful boxer before Zhou Xuming, the ideal guide for a young champion in the making. Chang Yuan is a very smart, very open and very open-minded boxer. Her brain is very clear. She can make a lot of decisions in the competition and can make a lot of decisions in the competition. 而且，呃，会在场上根据呃对手的变化随机应变，呃，非常灵活，呃，非常聪明的一个孩子。Women's boxing is a recent Olympic addition. London 2012 saw medals awarded for the first time in three weight categories. Chang Yuan is still in her teens, and with older fighters still ahead of her in the queue, 
she'll have to wait her turn. However, she already had a taste of being an Olympian. In 2014, the city of Nanjing staged the second Youth Olympic Games, and Chan Yuan was one of the two boxers selected to represent the hosts. Chang successfully negotiated her early bouts and found herself in the final against Irma Testa of Italy. 在赛前的训练当中嘛，然后就是在训练呀什么呀都会模仿，模仿他的就是他的身高，然后他的打法，然后给我安排训练。然后在赛前教练也会带我看那个比赛录像，他之前的比赛录像跟别人的或是跟我
Some sports would seem to almost require a Chinese victory in every games. Since becoming an official Olympic sport in 1992, Chinese athletes have won more badminton gold medals than all other nations combined. Zhang Se Wei is still a teenager and is now a member of the national squad. He was 11 when the games came to Beijing and has clear memories of his favorite moment. Yu 嗯，一定要像林丹这样子。Lin Dan inspired a generation of young Chinese badminton talents to aspire for excellence. Zhang Se Wei did not take long to establish himself as one of Chinese badminton's most exciting young prospects. He's now developing into one of the world's best exponents of the doubles disciplines. Because in 2015, Zhang won not just one, but three gold medals at the BWF World Junior Championships, winning the boys and mixed doubles and in the team event. That same year, he became the first Chinese to win the BWF's most promising player award. With so many Olympic heroes before him, Zhang Se Wei knows very well what he needs to excel on the senior stage. This is a young man who grew up admiring the ways of men's doubles Olympic champion Tsai Yuin. 我觉得能成为一个优秀的运动员 Zhang is joining a successful discipline within a successful squad. However, for a long time, the men's doubles had been the ugly duckling of the Chinese badminton program. China grew in its strength in the singles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles disciplines. Nations that were once dominant in these disciplines were beginning to find no answers to China's rise to power in the sport. But for many years, China's lack of real threat in men's doubles was something of a black mark for the Chinese. When Babington made its Olympic bow in Barcelona, they did have a great pair. But Li Yongbo and Tiang Bingyi had cruel luck. For many years, that solitary bronze was all China had to show. Games came and went, gold medals cascaded down in other disciplines, but the men's doubles column remained blank. Li Yongbo retired after Barcelona and became head coach of the national team. In over two decades in charge, he's led them to overwhelming success and applied a new thinking to men's doubles. Now 
and the first generation of Li's proteges were uncovered in time for Beijing. I think because the swing dart is to combine two people's strengths, and then take two people's different strengths, and then show them on the field to compete with the opponent. Because every player's strengths are different. Cai Yun, he plays very well. 然后往前各方面拿球，能创造机会为我创造机会进攻，而我在后场的呃一一拍杀球能直接得分，所以让我们两个人形成一个互补吧。很多人认为默契是每天在一起，其实我和傅海峰是不太平时从来不在一起，除了打球，我们的工作在一起，平时我们的生活吃饭也好，回到家庭也好，我们没有更多的交集。但是我知道他在球场上，我知道他哪里需要我，他也知道我什么时候需要他，就这么简单。Fu Haifeng and Tsai Yuen were both excellent singles players, but together they are so much more. Fu has a devastating smash, regularly clocked at over 300 kilometers an hour at the height of his career. Tsai has extraordinary reflexes, a speed at the net few can match. When combined with his partner's backcourt artillery, the result was a partnership which proved hard to beat. In 2008, they were approaching their peak. In the Chinese Olympic Games, it was only a chance to meet for a lifetime. It was very lucky. And this Olympic Games Center, the Olympic Games Center, I also joined. So, until now, when I entered this Olympic Games Center, I can feel the feeling of the Olympic Games Center. I think it's very exciting to feel the feeling of the Olympic Games Center. They sailed through to the final against old rivals Kido and Setiawan of Indonesia, guaranteeing the first Chinese medal in men's doubles for 16 long years. But as home favourites at a home Olympic Games, they were feeling the pressure. The pressure of 我们第一局打得非常好，我跟蔡云速度非常快，一直都能压制压制着他们来打。到第二局，我觉得不是说我们打得不好，是对手放开了，他们无所谓了，往前各方各方各方面拿球都拿得非常好，一下子把我跟蔡云就打得毫无办法，就拼命的起球，拼命的挑球，然后我们一直在防守，很被动。然后第三局就一直受影受第二局的影响嘛，然后第三局就缓不过来，一直扭转不出来，所以造成这个被。这场球输了。虽然最后在北京奥运会的时候我输了，决赛输了，但是我个人还是非常的觉得幸运，因为当时也是为中国的男子双打，啊，第一次突破，啊，起到了很大的作用，我感到很荣幸。The medal was silver, but this was not a bit of failure. This was a breakthrough. Between Beijing and London, Fu and Tsai won the World Championship three times in succession, and by the time 2012 came around, they were the undisputed world number one pair. In 2012, first of all, I was able to win the match. I was very confident. 就因为我经历过零八年这场决赛输了球，所以我上场我就非常有信心，我大不了我再输一次，我无所谓，我我输得起。然后决赛我就其实放得很开，无所谓。Fu Haifeng and Tsai Yuen. Brushed aside the Danish challenge of Bo and Mogensen in straight games, China had broken the jinx. For the pair known by the Chinese media as Feng Yuin, Wind and Cloud, London was the end of the Olympic road. Tsai was already 32 years old when he received his gold medal, and four more years at the top were never likely to be possible. Fu is almost four years his junior and still has plenty of fuel in the tank. However, Fu has a very personal reason to cherish the 2008 Olympic Games. 2008 was a special year in many ways. 
The number eight is considered particularly fortunate in China, and there was a baby boom around the time of the games as parents sought to sprinkle some Olympic stardust on their newborns. Fu's son, Zhe Yu, was born a few months before the opening ceremony, and the Olympic baby has become something of a lucky mascot to the national squad. And his presence has helped this Olympic champion put his life in perspective. Two thousand and eight was the year Chinese sport changed forever, not just for boxing, not just for badminton, but for everyone. Back at the Shichuan High Sports School, Zhong Yangqiang is well aware of what a landmark it was. 零八年奥运会在北京举行，确实是鼓舞我们这个每个中国人的运动对体育这个理念的重新的认识，而且也推动了我们这个呃国家的体育的运动。而且呢，呃，有更多的人在积极的参与。Zhang Suwei and Chang Yuan are just two of the young people who have benefited from Beijing 2008, Olympic babies, who are part of an Olympic legacy that's brought a new sporting superpower to the fore.